gonna do three quick tips for eyes today. We're gonna do a quick face yoga exercise for puffy eyes, another one for hollow eyes, and then a quick concealer tip. So a lot of people wake up with puffy eyes and this is usually excess fluid that's kind of stuck under the skin, often lymph. And we just need to move that and also be careful with what we're eating and drinking. So too much salty food, too much alcohol, too much fatty food. A lot of times you'll notice this after a big restaurant meal, you might wake up puffy in the morning. So I already have oil on my face. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on my hands. My favorite for face yoga is Levin Rose Vitamin E Serum, but any oil will do. You can even use olive oil, grapeseed oil, whatever you're cooking with. And I'm just gonna take my index fingers right under the eye and start tapping. And I'm gonna tap around in circles. And I'm going very light. So whenever we're moving lymph, we wanna go with a super light touch because lymph glands are just underneath the surface of the skin. And if you go deeper, you'll bypass those. And then I'm gonna go the other way. And then I'm gonna take my fingers in the inner corner and just gently sweep out and then lift off and come back. And then I'm gonna lightly brush down in front of my ear to my neck. That helps lymph to drain downward. And then sometimes we wake up, uh, instead of puffy, more wrinkly and hollow. And a lot of times as people age, uh, these eye sockets start to hollow out. And that was the case with me. I started to get very, very hollow under here and that creates a shadow, a dark circle. And face yoga is really good to help fill out those hollows. So uh, there's muscle underneath all of your skin. You might not think about it because this area here is so thin, but that muscle just sort of <laughs> deteriorates without use and with age. And we can do simple exercises to build that muscle back up and fill out that hollow so you have less shadow going on, less wrinkles. And this is a funny looking one. We're gonna put our fingertips right on the eye socket here, very lightly resting there. Open your mouth, big circle, wrap your lips around the teeth. Look up only with your eyeballs. So we're not lifting our brows, we're just looking up with our eyeballs. Mouth is wide open and you're just gonna blink rapidly. Breathe in and out through your nose. Keep breathing, we do this for about a minute. and release and relax your shoulders, relax your mouth. Horse lips is a good way to relax the lips. The last thing I'm gonna show you is a concealer trick. So as we age, this area under our eyes is very thin. It's probably the space with the most wrinkles and the darkness for most of us is on the inner corner and maybe a little bit of the outer corner. Some people, you know, really do get dark circles all around, but try this trick as we blend, you get a little bit there. We're just trying to make sure we don't have too much product right underneath the eye. So I'm using my Saint palette and I am using a Demi color corrector for the inner corner. And I'm just gonna put some dots right here. Make sure not to skip this. This is usually the darkest part. And I'm going inner corner and down about halfway down the side of my nose and then the outer corner. So I, I didn't put anything under here and you don't need much at all. This stuff has really good coverage and this will brighten the under eye area without making you look too cakey. So I've got that there. I'm going to take the tapered end of my double sided brush and just blend. And 
And from my view, it looks like I've already really brightened up uh, that under eye area pretty good. I don't have any other makeup on other than some eyeshadow. It's very easy. So remember, puffy eyes, move those fluids out, drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water anyway. Hollowed eyes, this flirty eye exercise is really good. Concealer, a nice creamy concealer with good coverage, inner corner, outer corner. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye-bye.